Okay, first thing you want to find the Google homepage. On the Google homepage, look for this little tab here that says More. Select that, then select Reader, and you're on your way. Here you have the opportunity to sign in with your existing Google account. If you don't have a Google account, don't worry about it. Click down here and create an account now. I'm going to walk you through that just for good measure. You want to type in your web mail, your password, your super secret code, and you accept your Google account. All right, we're ready to continue. Click here to continue, and you now have access to Google Reader. The first thing you're going to want to do is watch this 50-second uh, video from Google Reader, and I'm going to play that for you now. Hi, my name is Chris, and I'm an engineer on Google Reader, and we're excited to get to tell you some of the cool things that Google Reader can do for you. Um, Google Reader is a little like an inbox for the web. That might not make a lot of sense, so let me explain a little bit. When you have an email inbox, for instance, um, you don't have to check with uh, Larry and with Cheryl and with Sergey to find out if they've sent you email. Um, it just comes into your inbox and you get to read it whenever you want. Uh, Google Reader is a little like that, but for the entire internet. Um, you don't have to go to this site or that site or the other site uh, to find out when something's updated. In Google Reader, it just all comes into you and you get to read it whenever you want. It's easy and it's free. We've been working really hard on it. We hope you like it. Uh, there's a couple different ways to add feeds to your Google Reader. One way is to click the Add Subscription button right here, and it brings up a dialog box where you can actually type in the RSS feed or you can cut and paste. But that, I think, is the more difficult way. Let's go ahead and browse to a website we know, setitsouthern.com, set and you look here, there's a, you're looking for this big orange button. Now a lot of websites have this exact same button or you can click here for RSS feed. Any of those things, that's what you're looking for. Also in Firefox, if a website has an RSS feed, Firefox is going to detect it and put the icon right up here in the menu bar and you can click that as well. But for our purposes, we're going to click this big orange button right here. It brings up this page which shows us a preview of the site's feed and gives us some subscription options. Um, different, there's different, lots of different feed readers. You can subscribe by email. There's all these different options. But what we're going to do is we're going to add this to Google Reader. So we're going to click Add to Google and Add to Google Reader. Get to load, and we're here. We have now successfully added Set It Southern to our Google Reader. Let's go ahead and add another blog to our Google Reader. Open the new tab in Firefox, and we're going to type in blog.ninemarks.org. This is the new Church Matters site from Nine Marks Ministry. There's no big orange button, so we have to click up here in the address bar, subscribe to this page. We'll bring up a preview of the feed and the option to subscribe to this feed using Google. We'll do that now. Confirm, add to Google Reader. And Church Matters has now been added to your Google Reader. Okay, now let's look at some options on Google Reader. We can view all items at once by clicking here, All Items. This shows all of the items from all of our subscriptions on one tab. And we can view, over here we can choose to view all items or new items. So we're going to view only the new items. These are items that you've not clicked through yet. Or you can view all items, whether you click through them or not. You can select specific subscriptions to view. We can view just the Edit Southern Seminary items, or you can view just the Church Matters items. There's two options on how you view them. There's the expanded view, which shows, in most cases, it's going to show you the full article, or you can view the list view. And if you get a preview here, if you want to click through the website, you just push the little gray arrow, and there. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little walkthrough of Google Reader. If you find it helpful, uh, just leave a comment or email me from the Set at Southern blog. Thanks again.